Hey Virgo, welcome to your money, career, and biz reading for February 2021. This is for a Virgo, a Sun, a Moon, Rising, and Venus. Your money, career, and biz energies for February 2021. So welcome to the channel or welcome back as the case may be. I am delighted that you are here joining me to get the intuitive information you need to manifest your wildest dreams because that's what it's all about here on the channel. So everything you need to know is in the description. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the link is there. And if you would like to get my free, yes, free online astrology calendar, the link for that is also in the description. It gives you a heads up of the energies for the month ahead. And I think you'll enjoy it. You can also send alerts to your phone, your calendar, so that you can be reminded of important transits that are coming up. So check it out. Link is in the description. Virgo, we're going to start with this deck of first. No reversals to get the general feel and flow of the energies for your month ahead. And then we will tune in with a life purpose oracle card clarify with additional tarot and a super attractor at the end all right we got your energy virgo the hermit there is a big virgo full moon happening february 25th something big is coming to light for you on your journey this month since your energy is happening right away and the page of swords no reversals so some important message this is an email or a text. I got to pull more cards. This is, you know, not enough to go on yet. Um, but I feel it's very personal. I know this is money, career, and biz reading, but it is it is something extremely personal to you. Of course, like I said, it's your full moon month, but the fact that your energy is right here. Okay, so let's see what that message is. Very, very interesting. All right, Knight of Wands. So it comes in very fast very fast in regards to a situation that you have been patiently waiting on the empress now empress remember also rules money she has a venus symbol in her card it's not just about nurturing one's creativity but i think this opportunity could be something like i said you have been patiently waiting on maybe from three months ago or even from nine months ago because so she's pregnant in the card so it can take up to nine months you know, so it goes, goes even back farther, you know, than three months ago for some of you. But finally, the energy is moving and it shifts. Something big is manifesting for you this month. Two of Cups. So if you've been waiting to hear a message from somebody that you have either had a face-to-face -face meeting with in the past, like in the past three months, or you've been, you know, waiting to uh, meet somebody who's going to help you, you know, get a business matter finally launched. Or if you've been waiting on hearing for some sort of uh, application, some sort where you have to have an interview. So if you have applied to a program, like to a school or to something else, um, an internship, uh, some sort of certificate program, something you've been, you know, you got to apply to get in. But there's one more thing left to do, and that's to meet with the person face to face. So you've passed the first hurdle. I think you're going to hear that this month. But uh, there's the next hurdle, so to speak, which is a face to face. Now, I have a feeling this is just a formality. Um, and the face to face could be a literal physical meeting, but a lot of people are not doing that right now. So it's probably a zoom, but it's an actual, I see you. Okay. Not just, you know, talking on the phone. You're going to actually face to face with them. Judgment. Look at these number twos that are popping up here too. So judgment. So the new life, important message. So two cards about an important message coming in about the new life. That's going to mean so much to you. This is powerful reading. Powerful. Ah, king of coins. So this is great. You first show up as a hermit and now you're showing up as king of coins. So I'm not even pulling any more cards. Now, of course, this can be your energy. But this could also be another earth sign, so a Taurus or a Capricorn. But I'm also going to read it like this. 
you are coming into your own. You're coming into your power. There is something majorly shifting fast for you where you are going to be on a new path, a new life to really this, this self-actualizing your power to be financially successful in the way that is most aligned for you. And that's the important part because like I said, you know, the hermit is about, you know, kind of, you know, spiritually examining oneself, examining one, one's motives and motivations and looking within and figuring out where one may have to adjust, you know, what road is one on? You know, spending some time to figure it out. What is my journey? What new information, what other information may I need to light my path? So there is something about you finding your way this month, but it's not just, oh, I'm finding my way. This is finding my way to become my greatest version. Because again, you're showing up as the greatest version of yourself in the pentacles. You could, the nine of coins could have come up here and hey, we like the nine of coins. I like the nine of coins. Great card. Very, ver it's a Virgo card for me because it's the number nine September and it's earth energy. That's always a Virgo energy for me. So you could have shown up as that, but you didn't show up as that in this so far. You've shown up as higher levels of that energy. So I am just feeling this huge, huge upswelling of of this, again, self-actualization, reaching the pinnacle of, of course, the next stage of your development, because we're constantly, you know, going up, making new, new roads upward, new pinnacles that we are going on. Maybe that's my Capricorn rising mountain goat imagery that's coming in here, but, you know, we are. It's a journey of ascension. We are, you know, all on our paths. So, the news comes in, light your way, very personal news. Um, and I feel again, you know, give it around. I think really it's, it's going to be at your full moon. I think it's going to be after Mercury goes direct. Mercury goes direct on the 21st. We have the 20th here in the judgment card. Uh, so it could even be around the Mercury station, but I think it'll be after that. And of course, full moon energy can activate a few days before, a few days after. I think it's going to be right before your full moon that you hear. Um, so I think that it's possible that by the second week in February, you have this face-to-face, -face, okay? Um, there is a gorgeous new moon in Aquarius that's happening. This is in, if you have Virgo rising, your sixth house of work and health. Uh, so it's a very, very positive energy. So um, February 11th, Jupiter is, and Venus are conjunct. So if you have an interview at that time, uh, that's a great day to try to schedule. Especially, like I said, if this is connected to the past, if you've been working, which I think you have, again, Empress, if you've been working on trying to manifest this thing, whether it's a job interview, school interview, whatever, like I've already said, Try to schedule it on the 11th if you can, okay? Um, so really, really nice energy here. And then I think, you know, within about, let's see, what would be two is 14. Yeah, 14, yeah, so that's two weeks. Yeah, duh, the new moon, the full moon comes two weeks after the new moon. Uh, duh, Stella, okay? But again, these number twos that are coming up, so really, Again, it's a general reading. I, I definitely feel by your full moon. Um, there is nothing to worry about with this meeting. Okay, just be yourself. That is the key. Be yourself. You're showing up as yourself several times here. Be yourself. Show your light. Shine your light. Shine brightly. Like, don't be all, you know, I mean, be whoever you are. I mean, if you're all Virgo humble, that's great. But also, you know, show who you are, whatever that is for you. Okay, let them see you. Let them see inside you and how, you know, how much this opportunity would mean to you. Because it would mean a lot to you. It would mean a whole new fresh start in your life where you're going to step into your power so much more. So you've been wanting this. You've been waiting on manifesting this. And I think you're going to be very surprised at how 
positively and quickly this energy shifts in your world and shifts your whole world i mean the knight of wands is so passionate the knight of wands comes in and touches our hearts and well and sometimes other parts of us too but okay but the knight of wands the knight of wands really really shifts powerfully the direction of your life because it's wands it's the energy it's how we're moving what's moving so you could find yourself in such a beautiful place by the end of february all right virgo let's see what else is going on for you let's pull a life purpose oracle card wow such powerful energy for you this month huge whoa all right that just that just flipped right over and it's study i am i'm feeling that some of you are really uh your whole life can change with whatever you start this month with that program okay that you get accepted to reading research and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career yes okay i've already this i feel already is dovetailing with what we've looked at i am going to pull another one okay but this is further affirmation especially because it's a general reading but for those of you who are out there who have been trying to get accepted to a program and you're coming up on that one-on-one -on -one interview um or even if you're trying to switch careers and you're going into something a little different do some of your homework you know you're good at that virgo do do some more homework before that before that face to face show them that you're serious because you are serious about this opportunity you've been you've been wanting to manifest this for a long time the empress so um do your homework whatever that means i'm just hearing that do your homework before that face to face but be genuine in terms of that homework. Don't just do it to, you know, impress them. Do it because you want that knowledge base for yourself also. Okay. All right. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we have. Let me pull another one. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know for their month ahead? Big full moon in Virgo. It's an important month for them. Come on, spirit guides, let us know what else, Virgo. <laughs> it's good when they plop, plop, plop and pop out. Ah, there we go. It flipped right over. All right, we got counseling. I forget what other sign got this. Um, I think it was Aries. All right, you heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear. Some of you may be going up for some sort of counseling job. This could also be somebody who is giving these things to you somebody who is giving you kind words wise advice and an empathetic ear and that's the other thing too um that meeting that you have may feel more instead of an if it's an interview it may feel more like just a conversation between peers and if it does i think that's how you know you're on the road to success with it um that two of cups is an interesting energy for me it is it's a meeting of the minds it's a meeting of simpatico energy it's like you get each other so you know you may feel when you have this meeting with this person that they are offering you these things but you're offering those things to them as well so you know i mean you've ever had that experience where it's like things flip and like on a job interview you think you're going to be the one like being interviewed and you're all like all right i'm prepared whatever and then you find you're the one asking the questions or you're listening to the interviewers like story about this that or the other thing that's a sign they like you usually i mean you know they could just be a narcissist also but i mean most of the time you know because they feel comfortable there's something that their energy is recognizing in your energy that is making them feel comfortable to share unless like i said of course they're a narcissist but okay but there's something about that that could be happening so if that happens don't you know feel nervous about that just you know offer the kind words wise advice and an empathetic ear kindness and you are a naturally kind person virgo but kindness because your energy showing up and the empress nurturing energy right 
and this energy now kindness is going to go a long way for you this month especially with that meeting all right let's see i'm just gonna pull a couple more tarots let's see what else we have look you're showing up here again and then the two of wands wow wow I'm not even going to pull any more cards. I mean, this is telling, telling everything. I've already explained this card, but it's showing up again on the left. So this is the card I want to talk about. The two of wands. You're on the verge of such a huge shift in your life. Like I said, um, and it's another number two. So twos usually are about waiting, but like I said, the, the waiting's over this month, you're going to have the meeting. You're going to take the meeting <laughs> and the Knight of Wands is going to assure you of that. Yes, there'll be a little more waiting because you got to wait for everybody else to get interviewed and everybody else, blah, blah, blah. And then the judgment card and your card comes. So I do feel by your full moon, you will be stepping off of this veranda <laughs> into your new scene, your new scenario, your new life. This is very, very positive. So Two of Wands is about surveying the scene getting ready look she's got the phone in her hand she's waiting for the message to come in just like we had the page of swords in the beginning i told you it's going to be an email text message etc you know that comes in and just be like this beautiful goddess in this card stand tall stand proud and claim it and own it and know that that's coming for you what is right for you will not pass you by and there is something about stepping in through this gateway. It's a gateway energy into this, this new destiny that has been prepared for you and that you have been preparing for yourself. So this is beautiful. This is beautiful. You're, you're getting to ready to walk through that door of your new life. So it's beautiful. And like I said, it has to do with this has to do with this the other thing I'm feeling because your energy is coming up again and we were asking about this card is it would be a good idea because sometimes you can be very hard on yourself Virgo it would be a very good idea for you to give those kind words to yourself so I think a little um, positive affirmations positive self-talk since you're coming up here you know, talk to yourself as you would talk to a friend who's going through this situation and manifesting this big opportunity. Okay, so, you know, if they started to feel a little wobbly or doubtful, what would you say to them to encourage them and give them support? Say those things to yourself because you may need to do that. All right, but it's here for you. Oh, look what's under this. This was under this world card. Big, big cycle wrapping up and a new cycle beginning for you. This is huge. This is a huge month, Virgo. Huge. All right. Let's see. Let's pull Super Attractor. See what else we need to tell you. Gorgeous. Beautiful reading. I'm excited for you. Good stuff. Good stuff, Virgo. Your patience will be rewarded. You have been patient. That Empress card. All right, let's see. What else does Virgo need to know? Come on, flip the card for me. What else? Virgo, super attractor. Virgo, what are they attracting into their world this month? Okay. I think Aries got this too. Your, your energy and Aries energy is kind of dovetailing. I trust, or maybe it was Scorpio. I can't remember. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. Oh my God, what was I just talking about? Look at this beautiful. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith and the hermit coming up several times about our faith and our spirituality are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. So again, that self-talk, your powerful intentions, you know, ask, believe, receive, set your intentions, give yourself positive affirmations, positive self-talk, you know, and keep the faith 
and show up as you. Like I keep saying, do you show up as you, be who you are, but also let your light shine, okay? Wow, I cannot wait to hear what manifests with this energy for you, Virgo. Leave me a comment, let me know how it's resonating for you. Wow, that's it. Take care, I will see you again soon. Stella Wilde, signing out.